Hey guys, welcome back to another Underground Virtuosos video. My name is Paul. I'm a violin viola teacher located in San Diego, California. So today we're going to be talking about staccato, specifically two ways to play staccato on the string and coming off the string. We're not going to talk about spiccato because spiccato requires bouncing the bow and that will be a whole different video. But today we're just going to focus on staccato uh, on the string and coming off the string. Um, now, before we start, let me ask you, what does staccato mean? What is the definition of staccato? Now, when I ask this same question to a lot of students out there that I work with, they their first answer is always, oh, short. And the answer is not quite wrong, but it's a little bit limited. So I'll explain to you what that means. If you look on Google translation and you type in staccato, it actually translates to detached. Um, and what that means is when you play all sorts of music, uh, you know, that doesn't matter what the type of music that you play, but you could be playing a really fast versus a really slow music, and you would see the same type of marking, which is a dot above or underneath the note. And that little dot symbol um, uh, means staccato, right? But depending on the type of music, if you play staccato short all the time, it wouldn't fit in some of the music. It wouldn't make sense. It would sound kind of rough my my sound uh, like it didn't belong in the same style and so when you think about staccato it's better to think about it as separated or detached that would always help you understand the music a little bit better in the sense of the style now let's get into it so staccato on the string simply means that you are leaving your bow on the string um, you're not lifting off or anything and it starts with a little bit of pressure and weight and all you have to do is release that with a little bit of bow speed and then stop your bow before you start the next one. And that in the middle, there's that little separation that's staccato, a little bit detached, a little bit separated. So here we go. So you're gonna start with your um, bow on the string like this and you go in the middle-ish, okay? So a little bit underneath the middle because we're just gonna play in this area right here. So you're gonna put your bow on the string have a little bit, just a little bit of weight, a little bit of pressure, not too much, and you're going to release a quick down bow. Here we go. Now you're going to do the same thing, a little bit of weight, a little bit of pressure, and release up bow. Now we're going to do it simultaneously. So you can hear that there are little separations in the music, oh, sorry, between the notes. Um, and that's what creates the staccato note, right? And depending on how fast you release your bow and how much pressure, it will give you different styles of staccato. Let me show you a couple. So you can be playing like really, really fast music and you might uh, release your bow a lot faster. Now you might be playing a little bit slower music and you might, um, uh, take a little longer um, each stroke. So you can see that um, the two different ways, now there's always that separation between the notes, but because of the speed of the music and the style that they sound different, right? This is why it's not always ideal to think about um, staccato as short because then even in slower music you're going to make it really short and that might not might uh, not fit in the style of the music that you're playing. Now let's talk about staccato coming off the string. So we understand that the string vibrates when we play it right and the whole point of staccato coming off the string is to allow the string to vibrate a little bit more before you start the next note. Okay now understand this staccato coming off the string always starts from the string and then lift off okay and after each lift off you have to place it back on before you start the next stroke it's not quite spiccato where you just bounce and you start from the air okay so let me show you what I'm talking about so you're gonna do the same exact thing but let's go a little bit lower because it'll be a little bit easier to control so same thing a little bit of pressure a little bit of weight and this time when you release, you're not good, just going to pull a down bow and stay on the string. You're actually going to kind of make a little um, release up in the air like this. Okay, here we go. 
So starting on the string, low pressure, low weight, and release. One more time, starting on the string, and up bow this time, release. Again, release. Okay, now the great thing about staccato coming off the string is that little sound that you get um, after, you know, that little bit of uh, resonant, uh, the string is still vibrating, that little sound that you hear. Um, it's great um, is when you don't want your sound to be too dry, um, it, it's nice to have that, um, but it can be on the shorter side as well. So you can also do this very slowly, like what we did earlier. Or you can do this fast. But the difference is that you have to start on the string. If you don't start on the string when you play faster, you're going to start sounding like this. Right? And you're going to start kind of get into that spiccato territory, which is bouncing your boat. But we're not talking about that. And, um, and you have to learn how to control your bow properly in order to do a proper spiccato. So for now, just the staccato on the string and coming off the string. Okay. Um, if you have music that you can apply that to, uh, those strokes, that would be great to try out and to give it a try. Um, otherwise, scales are always a good place to start to understand how to properly use uh, those strokes. Okay. Well, with that, um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments below and always uh, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, um, thanks for watching.